Far beyond sunlight, past the faint exhalations of the solar wind, a small human-made spacecraft still drifts and whispers across the void. 47 years after its launch, Voyager 1, a probe built before personal computers were even a thing, has done something completely unexpected. It rotated in a direction no one at NASA commanded or fully understands. The most distant human-built object in history altered its orientation back toward the very system it left behind. And then it transmitted data so unusual, so seemingly impossible, that the scientific world paused. What could make a dying probe billions of miles from home, twist in the darkness? What did it perceive out in the silence between the stars? It all started in 1977, when Voyager 1 and its twin Voyager 2 were launched to take advantage of a rare planetary alignment. With less memory than a digital watch and power comparable to a small refrigerator bulb, these spacecraft were never expected to last even a decade, let alone nearly five. Yet they survived, providing humanity's first close-up views of Jupiter's raging storms, Saturn's rings, and the frozen surfaces of distant once thought lifeless worlds. Even as their cameras shut down and batteries aged, they kept traveling beyond Pluto, past the Kuiper Belt, and past every boundary humanity had imagined for the solar system. Voyager 1 became the first craft to cross the heliopause, the invisible frontier where the solar wind fades and interstellar space begins. But crossing that boundary revealed anomalies. Magnetic fields didn't behave as expected. Plasma density surged, yet the field direction remained constant, as though the probe hadn't left the solar system, but entered a mirrored version of it. Scientists long assumed Voyager 1 had truly escaped into interstellar space. Yet subsequent data hinted otherwise. Its four still-functioning instruments detected subtle fluctuations in plasma waves, almost like echoes bouncing between invisible walls. The heliopause wasn't smooth, it was rippling, and those ripples were intensifying. Then in 2018, Voyager 2 crossed the same boundary and recorded identical magnetic alignments, density spikes, and anomalous transitions. Two spacecraft, years apart and on different trajectories, both encountering the same puzzling environment. NASA models couldn't explain it. If the probes had not really left the sun's influence, then the bigger question emerged, what truly exists beyond the heliosphere? Was it not a bubble, but a barrier? And what lay pressing back on the other side? In late 2024, Voyager 1's cosmic ray detector, operating decades beyond its expected life, began recording rhythmic spikes at precisely 11-minute intervals. Initially, engineers dismissed them as interference. But the pulses were exact, rising in synchrony with background plasma waves. Then came the anomaly, Voyager 1's antenna, unmoved for over a decade, rotated by half a degree. A tiny adjustment, yet deliberate, triggered by the probe's own thrusters, commands never issued by mission control. The spacecraft had turned, not toward the sun, but toward the magnetic flux it had been detecting for months. Once it shifted, the data changed. The rhythmic spikes merged into a steady tone, just below human hearing. When decoded, the waveform revealed a repeating harmonic sequence aligned with the hydrogen atom's fundamental frequency, the same constant used to encode Voyager's golden record. This discovery split the scientific community. Some suggested coincidence or plasma resonance. Others proposed something more profound. Voyager 1 wasn't detecting a natural field, but its own signals reflected back. The patterns matched its historic transmissions, reversed and inverted, as if bouncing off an enormous reflective boundary around the heliosphere. A cosmic mirror. If true, the heliopause wasn't an exit, it was a reflection. The signal intensified for three weeks, then abruptly ceased. Examination of the final readings showed faint voltage fluctuations in the magnetometer, a binary code matching the golden record's first audio track, Greetings from Earth. Voyager 1 hadn't merely looked back, something had returned the gesture. JPL engineers processed the remaining corrupted data, revealing a persistent structure. Binary sequences matched calibration tones, inverted and phase-shifted as if rebounding from a colossal organized surface. Machine learning reconstructions converted the waveform into a three-dimensional spectrogram. Six repeated spikes formed a hexagonal lattice, resembling patterns seen in magnetized plasma labs. The implication, Voyager had encountered an organized boundary, capable of shaping and reflecting electromagnetic energy. Some dubbed it the interstellar wall. Others called it the mirror. Words spread quickly. Observatories worldwide tuned to the same frequencies, ESA, India's Deep Space Network, 
even private arrays like the square kilometer array. Tiny mirrored signals. Arrived exactly 19 hours after each Voyager 1 transmission. MIT mathematicians noted that 19 hours was precisely the round-trip travel time for a signal bouncing between Voyager 1 and an object roughly 22 billion kilometers away, on the opposite side of the heliopause. The signal wasn't a one-off, it was part of a feedback loop. Whatever structure existed was reflecting and amplifying Voyager's signals. Then the impossible, Voyager 2, billions of kilometers away on a different trajectory, received the same mirrored frequency. Two probes, on opposite ends of the solar system, receiving synchronized reflections. Scientists attempted to decode the signals. Instead of language, geometry emerged. Frequency peaks plotted over time formed a spiral intersected by radial lines, aligning with interstellar clouds, mapping a corridor outward but folding back toward the sun. Each 72-hour cycle added layers, as if drawing a detailed map. The pattern wasn't pointing away, it was converging inward, charting the sun's position. It was as if the signal were mapping us. Converted to sound, the ratios produced a deep hum oscillating at 115 hertz, the golden record's hydrogen tone. Something beyond the heliopause was communicating in the same mathematical language humanity once sent into space. On February 4, 2025, at 2.43 universal time coordinated, Voyager 1's orientation sensors triggered an automatic 7 degrees rotation, without commands from Earth, aligning its high-gain antenna with coordinates indicated by the geometric pattern. The thrusters executed flawlessly, consuming fuel, and the probe transmitted a high-powered burst into the void for 11 minutes. NASA's dishes recorded a power drop, then a return signal stronger than expected. The echo wasn't radio, it was a gravitational fluctuation, detected by LIGO. A human-made object had sent a signal into interstellar space, and space-time responded. The wave was structured, harmonically synchronized with Voyager's transmission, forming a toroidal lattice folding inward. Coordinates embedded in phase shifts pointed directly to Voyager 1, converging briefly with the Golden Record's bass tone. The universe itself had echoed our message. Some called it interference, others whispered a stranger possibility. Voyager had touched a gravitational shell around the solar system, organized, deliberate, containing something beyond human understanding. NASA immediately encrypted all telemetry. Officially, the probe suffered corruption. Unofficially, the observations were unsettling. Final packets revealed a dense compressed burst, more complex than Voyager systems should handle. Decoding plasma readings produced a repeating sequence, 1011, pulsing every 11 minutes, now coming from behind the probe, inside the heliosphere. Then a second stronger signal appeared, neither from Earth nor Voyager, but from the space between them, mirroring every transmission for 19 minutes. Two Voyagers, human and reflected, echoing in perfect synchrony, billions of kilometers apart. Then it abruptly stopped. Only a faint hydrogen frequency oscillation remained, the golden record's fundamental tone. NASA realized the boundary Voyager reached wasn't the solar system's edge, it was a mirror field, where radiation folds back. Voyager hadn't found the end of the sun's influence, it had discovered a place where space itself looks back. The gravitational echo wasn't from the stars, it was our message returned. Hidden in the harmonics was a timestamp pointing to 2031. NASA scientists speculated that the structure beyond the heliopause was calibrating itself to the solar system. It's not coming to us, one whispered. It's aligning with us. For the first time, humanity reached far enough into the darkness that the cosmos noticed, and it responded. Voyager 1 is now silent. Its signal has degraded into static, still pulsing every 11 minutes, the same rhythm it first detected before turning. Publicly, it's dismissed as a malfunction. But those monitoring deep space frequencies know the pattern persists. Every 11 minutes, a faint pulse echoes, not from the probe, but from the space around it, continuing to repeat our message, waiting for a response. If this story made you question whether Voyager truly discovered something at the edge of the known universe, or if our first message was never lost but heard, don't look away. Subscribe, because when Voyager breaks its silence again, we may learn whether we were first to reach out, or last to realize we were never alone.